You want to start by picking up a section of hair near the face, split it into two equal sections and start braiding a fishtail braid towards the back of the head. In a fishtail braid you break off a small piece of hair from the outside of one of the two sections and then cross it over and add it to the inside of the opposite section. Then you repeat on the other side. Pull on the edges of the braid to create volume. Continue to braid until the braid reaches past the middle of the back of the head and then tie it with a small elastic. Create a similar braid on the opposite side of the head. Then take the two braids and drape them across the back of the head and pin them in place with bobby pins. Cross one of the braids on top of the other and pin it in place. Next, you want to pick up a small section of hair right underneath the elastic of one of the two facial braids and then braid a regular braid all the way down and secure with an elastic. Braid another 3 strand braid on the other side. Pick up a large section of hair right behind the ear on the right side of the head and braid yet another facial braid all the way down and secure with an elastic. Pick up a large section of hair behind the left ear and braid yet another fishtail braid with this hair. Gather all the remaining loose hair and braid another fishtail braid all the way down. And once you're done with this spray, we're not going to braid anymore. Stick two fingers through a stitch on the three strand braid and grab hold of the fishtail braid to the right and pull it through this loop and then pin it in place with a bobby pin. Do the same with the fishtail braid on the left. Now take the fishtail braid that is now on the left and pull it through a stitch on the 3 stone braid on the right. And then do the same with the fishtail braid that is now to the far right. You just want to continue this pattern all the way down until you run out of hair. When you're all done, you can tie all the braids together with an elastic. And here we have the finished braid. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!